Okay, I'll admit that this question is kind of confusingly worded. I have trouble just trying to sort through even what they want from me. So that's just a good example of just like narrow your focus, try to get this question down to the most simple idea you can, and then let's look for that idea in the passage. So what, what are they saying here? The writer wants a transition from the previous paragraph that highlights the criticism of compulsory volunteering mentioned in the previous paragraph. So the part I underline is the part that like they're specifically asking for. Obviously, a transition is going to have something to do with the previous paragraph. That part is just kind of intuitive. The thing that they really want from us is it needs to highlight the criticism of compulsory volunteering. So let's go to the end of that paragraph. Let's see what we were talking about. And notice the title is really helpful here. So if we have trouble with the word compulsory, there's a lot of other clues that tell us what that means. Keep student volunteering voluntary. A growing number of public schools in the United States require students to complete community service. Such volunteering, being a helping at a local animal shelter, blah, 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 benefits the community, teaches life skills. But critics say that making volunteerism compulsory misses the point of the act. So volunteering, where you say, I want to do something, shouldn't be required, is what the criticism is, right? They use that word required earlier in the passage. So we want to hit that same point, that volunteering should not be required. And, and look, if you're having trouble keeping track of this, volunteering should not be required. This is a little bit longer of a summary than I'm used to, but if it helps to get it out of your brain and on the page, then take a second to do it. It might make the rest of the question faster to solve. So let's look at these choices here. Well, the way it's written is, has by its very definition, volunteer work is done willingly. Well, willingly it kind of matches with this idea of something being required, right? They're opposites, but they match because we're kind of hitting on the idea of a criticism. There's some sort of disconnect between something being voluntary and something being required. Um, so this seems related. Let's look at the other choice. Uh, choices. Choice B, whatever the work may be, volunteer work is done willingly. Okay, well, that, that seems like a throwaway, right? Like, we're not talking about specific types of volunteering, so I don't feel like I need to mention that, and, that, and that's kind of what choice B is doing here. So this, to me, is not hitting this idea of requirement that the previous paragraph is focused on. C, for many students, volunteer work is done willingly. Well, that kind of contradicts what the previous passage was saying. It was saying that a lot of students actually have required volunteering, right? So this is this is not really true. Plus, it's not hitting this idea of requirement versus volunteering, right? It's not it's not getting to the real crux of the of the argument here. So this also feels like a throwaway kind of phrase. D. Fortunately for communities in need, volunteer work is done willingly. Well, yeah, obviously it's good that people volunteer, but notice the connotation here. We, we don't really want to hit a positive. We're trying to hit more of a negative because we're talking about a criticism. So this is a very positive idea. This just doesn't fit with the rest of what we're talking about. So A is going to be right because it's, it's really focusing us, narrowing our focus to this idea of what it means to volunteer. The criticism is that volunteering is something you choose to do, and yet it's required by schools. You're forced to do it. And so the next sentence kind of needs to hit that same point, and by its very definition, the definition of volunteering, it shouldn't be compulsory, mandatory, required. It's tricky. It's a hard question. But we're kind of using ideas we've used for other questions on this test and that we use a lot in the writing section, which is we just, we just try to boil these things down to simple ideas and we really focus on those narrow ideas just to clear as much space in our brain and give it an objective. Hopefully by kind of getting rid of the clutter, you can more clearly see which choice matches with the other ideas that they're repeating. This one's harder than most, but it's still using that same principle. And the more you practice and the more you kind of like strengthen that skill of being able to narrow your focus, the easier a question like this will feel. So don't worry about it now, 
But big picture, you do want to be able to understand and prove in the moment why the right answer to this one is the right answer.